Kenneth here and I'm really excited because today, while I was out pulling weeds, I found this little miracle. Little baby Chinese soft shell turtle. I uh, love these little dudes. Uh, have the adults as you can, as you have noticed, out here in the front pond. And they are just doing great because they're reproducing. And they're laying fertile eggs and the eggs are hatching in the ground which isn't uh, abnormal here in South Florida. They do very well here. Um, but I wanted to get this little guy found up. Now, the other cool thing is they lay two to three eggs. So I'm going to go out and look before it gets too dark and see if we can find another one or another two or three. Who the hell knows? That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to put this guy back in there, and we are going to start looking. Um, this is not necessarily an easy job. The, the first one I found, I was pulling the weeds right here. And if you go to my Instagram page, you'll see the video that I made just when I found it. So he was stuck under there uh, trying to get out. But there's so many little nooks and crannies here in this enclosure, guys. And there's some of the elongated tortoise. There's one of the elongated females right there. And they're doing a good job keeping most of the weeds down. But there's still some kind of weeds they don't like to eat that I just pluck. So it's really cool to kind of be out here looking for these tortoises and turtles. Um, I also have some elongated eggs that I've left in the ground to see if they'll incubate uh, in the ground here. So in a few months time, I'm gonna be finding elongated tortoises as well. So that is awesome. The one reason why I really wanna get, oh, you know what? That makes sense, I should actually check it. The one reason I wanna get them up and out of here is because number one, sometimes the adults will be cannibalistic and they'll try and eat the babies, but Here's our skimmer, right? What if one of the babies went in to the skimmer? Now, they would certainly drown in this thing. So let's see if I can find any babies in here. And the way to do that is simply, I just trap this up like this, let the water drain down. I'm not seeing any babies. All right, no little baby turtles in there. Hi, Leo. Leo's saying hello to me. Ah, oh, there's Leo, I'm looking for turtles. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna do this video. I'm gonna do this video right now and see if we can find any babies. The best thing to do is to walk along the edges. Very important to walk along the edges, see, because as you can see, a lot of the tortoises like to walk there. But if I'm a baby looking for new habitat, I might be able to find it. Now, it just had a downpour. And here in South Florida, this is, really cool because you're starting to see kind of the areas where the adults are digging but uh, after a downpour is usually the best time to be looking for babies for hatchlings because it softens the ground up and they come right out all right so it's very important to do that but I like to look up in here as well Let's see, I don't know. Oh my goodness, where else are they? Hey, look at that, got some bananas. Ha, <laughs> how cool is that, huh? These are the banana plants. And it uh, looks like they're bearing fruit. They're happy too. Everyone's happy here at Camp Kenny. Everything's reproducing. Fruit's reproducing, turtles are reproducing. Oh my gosh, let's see. Oh, hey, I got one. <laughs> Come on, dude. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Oh my gosh, we found another one. I knew there was another. There's always at least two of these little guys. Oh my gosh. Come on, dude. Little baby Chinese box turtles, man. This is awesome. Let's keep going, man. This is awesome. I cannot believe this. That is two right now. Let's keep going. Is there gonna be three? This is where the, um, the eggs are from the elongated, actually. Let's see how they're doing. Let's see how they are doing. I got the tortoise, the little turtles right here, but let's see. What I'll do is I just gently peel back. I think this is where they were. I just want to see. You got to be careful with the eggs. Can I put you right here for a second? You stay there. Don't disappear. Hey, I said don't disappear. Stay where you are. Look how fast these guys go. My goodness. 
So I'm trying to remember where my eggs were here. Look at this. You are a little loony. You're staying with me. Stay right up here. I want to show everyone the eggs. Hopefully I can find them. This is a nest of elongated, an elongated tortoise nest. And that's not an egg. Uh-oh. Where'd my nest go? Wait, here it is. Here it is. Right? Nope. Oh, man. I did have a nest of eggs. Could something have gotten them? Is that... Oh, wait. Wait. Meanwhile... Oh, man. Now I'm bummed out. Maybe it wasn't a nest. Maybe it was... Maybe it was rocks that I felt. That's weird. There's the pipe for the, uh... Oh, no. Blimey. Well, where are you going? Please stay here. Oh, my gosh. Well, I think I'm in trouble. Oh, no. I knew it was risky, but I really wanted to see if these guys would hatch in the ground but there's no way they hatch because those net that nest was laid not long ago it is getting dark here guys weird very strange I was certain that there was a nest there I can't believe it look at this little guy in the meantime just kind of cruising on up man and you can see man these guys they are going for it they're very athletic meanwhile i don't know if there's any more i'm gonna put you upside down for a second just chill because now i'm stressed really really stressed out was that it i don't know yeah that's a bummer guys i'm really upset I thought I had a nest that was safe and sound, but I, you know what I think I did? Maybe, maybe I just went and uh, felt one of these rocks and thought that was in fact the nest, but that would be an amateur mistake, man. Oh well, I'll come look another day. Holy smokes. In the meantime, I should be happy that we have found a second baby Chinese box turtle. I'm still looking for more though. I don't see any. All right, well, it's getting dark. Oh, hey, look, there's the proud papa. Hey, pops, look what I got here. One of your children's. I wonder if these guys can be cannibals. But he's not interested, which is good news for the little ones in here. So that's great. All right. Well, there you have it, everybody. A little bonus video involving some of my favorite little turtles. Let's dunk them and get them a little oh, washed off. All right. Baby Chinese box turtles. All right. I hatch these guys often, but it's so cool to have them hatch in the ground, in the front pond. Isn't that amazing, guys? This is why it's so cool to build a naturalistic habitat for your animals, because they'll reproduce, and that is why we're doing this. We're creating a living ark uh, for these animals here in captivity, because if we know in their native range, uh, they're running out of chances with overcollection, pet trade, food trade, and habitat loss. Well, not this little guy. He's going to be doing just fine. All right, everybody. Just wanted to say thanks so much. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash camp to help support us and make more videos. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, that's that. We're going to add him to the crew. All right. Woohoo! See you guys. <laughs>